Hello guys, so we will be working on this Nintendo Switch. So the problem is LCD connector pins inside got broken. Maybe you won't be able to see from here, but I will show you under the microscope. And we have to replace Nintendo Switch LCD FPC connector. Okay, I will show you under the microscope. Do you see it there? There where the black thing is? Burnt. Two are burnt and one is broken. Inside. So as you can see this area is a little bit um, sensitive we have got plastic connector here one here one here one here so i have to put heat resist tape before i can remove it okay so now this is all wrapped up properly And if you guys are doing this sort of uh, FPC connector replacement while removing the old one you can also check what temperature this which is already broken you are removing is going to melt I'm talking about the plastic and then when you are putting the new one you would know what temperature you can heat to solder back so for me it's not melting so far see now it started melting <laughs> but we will be tinting the pad with low melt solder it's not still coming out anyway we will sort it out we will sort it out okay burnt and just Nice. Now we will tinting it with the um, low melt solder. Okay. So this is the one which I have removed from here which is the broken one and this is the one I removed from a donut board okay and now we will go closer we don't want to burn this one of course don't want to burn this one and we have to make sure it's sitting correctly now we will lower the temperature on the heat gun and 
Lo blob. Looks like sitting. So I will start from a distance. As you know, we don't want to melt this connector. Back and forth, don't stay at one one point. This is where I have to stop. As I can see, this part is little bit melting, so I don't want to go any more than this. And the next thing now we have to do is do it manually now like this okay. this looks a little bit difficult because I have already done lots of Samsung FPC connectors easy to melt Okay, this side is done. And the last thing we have to check if all these connectors are solid. As you can see, they are rock solid. Little bit, so as you can see, they all good. Plastic got little bit blackish here, not burnt, but blackish. That's all good. And uh, this closing mechanism working fine, as you can see. Okay, all done.